Hi, Hi friends. friends, welcome back to another episode of the Sound Girl Pod and we are excited to be back with our mothers, okay, my mother, <laughs> again, and it's such an honor to have you and you. Uh, to have sacrificed your time. I'm really grateful, but I'm not just saying that because it's cliche, but really I'm so grateful that you sacrificed your time mm-hmm. to come and join us on this episode and we hope you guys have been having a good ride uh, for the episodes that we you have been listening to and engaging us on and we are drawing uh, towards the end of the season and we are still <coughs> choosing to heal and also um, interact and engage with our guests and this time with our mothers but this time we're making it a bit personal so Let's start. So today we are going to be talking about Ama before I go on. Mm. Would you just want to say hi? Hi everyone. Um I'm glad to be here again. <laughs> so let's hear what Sharon wants to tell us or to <laughs> ask us. Yes. Yeah. So we are going to be similarly to what um Jewel did with her mother. Uh-huh. So we're having version 2. Mm-hmm. Um and so we are talking about um our mother daughter life right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, how different or what would you have done different mm-hmm. to have raised me better now having learned so much throughout life and raised me up to this point mm-hmm. what would you have done different or better or when you look back i mean what would you have just done different and that's what we're, that's what we're going to be talking about so it's more of like a you kind of <laughs> <laughs> conversation so I, I i want to listen i'm here, i'm just here to soak oh, in okay. and listen interview me <laughs> no not interview we're going to talk to to talk but i'm going to soak in and just to hear right. and then after which later on you will we'll share our love letters to each other mm-hmm. and i'm excited and looking forward to that one <laughs> and to see what it's going to be looking oh, like me too how do you feel do you have oh. butterflies and now they have uh, all flown away mm-hmm. i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you guys so i told my mom to write me a love letter you have to say that <laughs> yes 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 and, okay this you see these things we don't do them so it becomes very strange and weird when we ask <laughs> each other to do them so i asked her to write me a love letter and she i texted her and she told me and not just told me in kikuyu she told me mudoni 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 gwade kere maro wa joke na mo and i was like what is it is it godomere godomere is it this hard yeah. but i was like it's okay let's see how it goes yeah. i think we are so gangsta and really, we are so we are so whatever you mean by we are gangsta like gangsta like we don't we are not all na la vida be that kind of thing Uh like we don't do these kind of things a lot like right oh, okay, love letters okay 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 all right you know do the, this kind of, we don't do them uh-huh. so when it comes it's like uh. mm. but you know i've also remembered <clears throat> when i was young i used to write you guys letters you wrote a lot I by the way i wrote a lot and of i think you letters. got that from me because i also thrive in writing it has gone down now uh-huh. but i used to write a lot me too it has gone down mm-hmm. but i remember every time before i used to go back to school mm-hmm. i'd write not not just to you I'd, i'd write a letter to my parents and to my brother as well and then i'd leave them under their pillows mm. their bed pillows yeah. so when they would come and sleep and they're removing their pillows they would find letters <coughs> so i've got so when i've when i've gone to boarding school they'd find all the letters and then read i don't know how i used to how do you used to feel when you used to <laughs> I just cuz I used to write a lot. I think I didn't mind myself because I I I I write I used to write a lot. Mm. So I by the way I wasn't surprised. I mm. just thought okay. Well, just a replica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sometimes you would ask so why did she just talk? But I wasn't the one who was asking that much it's It your father. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> why 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 she couldn't talk? You know, so what did she have to write? and uh so for me it was a, it was okay mm-hmm. but but i also thought when you were asking uh, me to write letters to you mm-hmm. and and i I, I, th- i thought you know our days we used to write letters and we, they would post them to our friends or mm-hmm. whoever in mm-hmm. high school mm-hmm. and all that that was your so mode of communication that was the mode of communication mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i thought that is what you are yearning for that no. is what you are craving <laughs> you want to you know to like have our days in mm-hmm. your time uh-huh. it wasn't that No it's just to just to get to hear from you. Ah okay. Yeah. Like In when form I'm of a not letter. speaking. Yeah. Ah all right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's begin with a conversation. So how do you think you would have raised me differently? But I'm thinking before we go into that, let me just ask you a question. When you look back as you were being brought up, mm-hmm. do you think how your how your journey of being brought up mm-hmm. 
influenced or affected Mm -hmm. how you have also brought me up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has. In what ways? Um... (laughs) Uh, the ones you're comfortable to share, of course. <laughs> well, maybe just one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I would say uh, I was brought up in... A, okay, my parents were, were teachers. Mm-hmm. They were learned. Mm-hmm. But they still had that old school mentality. Mm-hmm. So, like, kusomea uh, watoto, uh, kuachapa. Those things, mm-hmm. I experienced them. Mm-hmm. So, me, when I got you and being the firstborn, mm-hmm. what script did I know? <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> discipline <laughs> chapa and uh, uh, read read for you read for you <laughs> so I think that that bit I got from them mm-hmm. and I because I am a firstborn also mm-hmm. I don't expect that my parents would have done any better anyway mm-hmm. I was the guinea pig you the experiment and so they, they tried the best they could do with me Mm-hmm. And so I don't blame them. Mm. So I have a bit of that in a way, like uh, I feel like I had it hand, hand, handled you in a, a rougher way than I should have done. But see who you have become. <laughs> no apologies. <laughs> 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 Not sure I'm apologizing, but uh, yeah. So right. I think that 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 mm-hmm. that toughness mm-hmm. uh, of my parents, I think I I, I transferred a bit of it. Mm. in your parenting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now that you've brought me up this far mm-hmm. and uh, you've raised me this is 25 years mm. now. Wow. Imagine. Life. Imagine. This from, can you imagine? And the way she's looking very young and so pretty. But there's so many places Glory. we go and so many places we go and she's like, oh, so you brought your sister. Mm. That's that, that's how young she is. Even in high school. Yeah. One time they called us for a meeting and uh, her, her CRE teacher said, so Sharon, you have decided to bring your sister. <laughs> Not your mother. <laughs> Not your mother, yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, we thank the Lord. Yeah. So now having raised me up to now, I mm. bet there are things you have learned, mm. unlearned, mm. relearned. Mm. Um, how do you think you'd have raised me better or different? Let me use different. Maybe I, I, I'll go a little before the raising you mm-hmm. to before you were even born. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I would want to start from there. Mm. And uh, I think there are things that I know now mm. that I could have done when I had conceived you, spiritually speaking, mm-hmm. that probably I, I didn't do. Thank God for his mercies that you still turned out right. Mm-hmm. But I, I now I know that uh, I could have spoken to you mm-hmm. when you are in oh. utero. Yeah, okay. I could have prayed for you. Mm. I could have asked God for your purpose mm. when you are right there. Mm. You re, you, uh, just say, just say, just say. This is that episode. Yeah, it's, I just want to read to, to, oh, to okay. scripture. No problem. I, I'm thinking I would have done the way uh, Manoah and his wife did mm-hmm. in, in the book of Judges chapter 13. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when the angel came and told Manoah's wife that they would have a child and you know, they gave, he gave them the, what the expectations of God upon raising that child. And uh, ma- ma- no, they prayed that the angel would come back again. But do you know why they were praying that the angel would come back again? Mm-hmm. Because Manoah wanted to know how they would raise that child and his mission. Mm-hmm. And I said, wow. So that means mm-hmm. as a parent, I can actually ask God about the mission mm-hmm. of my child when no, they are still unborn. Mm-hmm. I think that. I didn't know then mm-hmm. again see you are the guinea pig. So I I didn't <laughs> I didn't know that mm-hmm. and I wish I knew that because I would mm-hmm. have maybe spoken things into your life mm-hmm. before you were born and uh you know just Does probably, it make a difference? I don't even think when so. I'm born, it, okay. like if you're still if you still prayed for me when I was born. Uh God 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 is gracious. Mm-hmm. Though I was not able to do that you think <laughs> in the days of ignorance God overlooked it. Eh? Mm-hmm. There are scriptures that God also gives us mm-hmm. as parents to speak into our children's mm-hmm. lives. Okay. Like you know, the, when the Bible says uh, the children of your young age are like arrows. Mm-hmm. So you are born, yes, but now we can use God's word to shoot you mm-hmm. into your destiny. Yeah. But I felt like, I feel like personally I missed that moment of just engaging God about your mission mm-hmm. and your purpose. Probably, I don't know. I don't know whether you'd have turned out differently, but I think that I just feel like I sub, I missed that. Okay. But nevertheless, there are scriptures to this, uh, today that still talk about how uh, we can speak to your destinies. Mm. And now I that I know, I use them a lot to pray for you. Mm. Yeah. I bet you. The, the one you used, I think, the most was the rod. Spare the rod and spoil the child in the raising. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, you... I didn't even do that a lot for you. 
Really? I did that for your brother. Do you really? remember? Yes, yes, yes. I don't even think I did that of the, the road more for you like I did for Timo. Mm. You remember we used to, to to read the Bible first before we used the cane. <laughs> Yes. I would tell him go and oh get your bible read oh proverbs chapter was it 13 and verse 23 what does the bible say if you do you do, uh, is it me is it me no or ma'am, the bible it is no. the bible so we do what the bible says so i think i did that for him more than i did for you but anyway that was notorious anyway <laughs> all right interesting Continue. interesting yeah. Okay. yeah. But yeah, so yeah, yeah. You want me to say more about what I would have done? Yeah, yeah. Please do. I just want to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that so was before race. you so were that born. So that was now in what neutral. you wish you knew, like when yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but right. also, I, 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 yeah. Now that you you uh, in in the, in the process of your growing Raising, up, mm-hmm. yes, yes, yes. There are things that I really wish I would have done, like uh, maybe listened to you more. Mm. Although you also didn't talk a lot. <laughs> First bonds, first You bonds, didn't talk a lot, bonds. and uh, but I, I still I, don't I, talk. You, okay, I don't know whether you still talk a lot, uh, but I think I wish I gave you more time mm-hmm. to express yourself mm. and to just you know you just engage mm-hmm. and just kept the communications lines open. Mm. Uh, probably, yeah, because now I know if I did that, probably mm-hmm. you would have. Our relationship would be even maybe a little more different than okay. it is today. Not right. that it is bad, yeah. But I think I agree. I agree. Up, yeah. I agree. I mm-hmm. think it's a firstborn thing not to. Did you find yourself communicating more when you when you were uh, like you when you knew your daughter when you were a daughter with my you had, mother? Yes, with my mother. Yes. Ah, those were no go zones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my mother, mm-hmm. number one, was my teacher. Mm. So uh, she she's teaching me in school. She's beating me. Mm-hmm. And then I want to go now and open up to her and tell her, Mom, I want to talk. She would the only one time I think I expressed something to her, I wrote to her a letter. Mm. And I don't want to even go to what I was writing to her about. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't think it, there was that room mm. for me okay. to interact with her. And, you know, yeah. I think she would have been surprised. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just I don't know. I think just like in the previous previous episode when Doc was saying it's it's so it's such a fastball nature mm. to feel like you know me being the responsible one. Yeah, I, I need to keep it together, not just for me but also for the ones who are behind me. Just not to show that I'm weak yeah. or I'm 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 not. I don't have it figured out and that kind of thing. So you keep things Yet to yourself. sometimes you don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you keep things to yourself and you're like, it will just get better. Let's just move on. You know, mm-hmm. as firstborns, we're always on the move, on the move, on the move. So you ignore even those things you want to talk out mm-hmm. to. That's why the other day you're having the conversation on therapy, like why it's very important. Because now if you've mm-hmm. also developed that culture of you can't talk for a long time, especially even to your parents, mm-hmm. Before you unlearn that, it will take time. Mm. So it's even better just to like maybe seek professional help on how to open up and talk more. Because I don't. Know, it's not like a switch of a button. Like yeah, now yeah, tomorrow yeah, yeah. I'll come and say, "Hey, mom, now let me tell you, mm. I'm going through this." Uh, I don't it's see. It's gonna be a process it needs to, to begin rely- Yeah, and that's the place I'm saying. I am not sure I created that space mm-hmm. for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I am. I, I wish I did that, mm-hmm. but I think uh, it is still open. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's still open. <laughs> you can still come and uh, uh, right. the process still has room to begin. Mm. Yeah. I think when you grow older, we beca- you become, you realize now the need for your really parental guidance and you become, there's need to become closer with your parent as, mm. as you're growing older. So I, I agree there's more room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is else do you true? think you'd have done different? Uh, hmm. Uh, or maybe what is one thing you maybe unlearned or relearned uh, in? You I think reason. I would have let you be you more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't think I... I? I think I have let you be you, but mm-hmm. when it came to college and university. Oh, like way later. Way, ma- way ma- yeah, mm-hmm. much okay. later. But maybe, but, but also maybe when you needed to be you, you mm-hmm. also needed a, a lot of more guidance than you do now. So, but I think I would have given you more room. I, I put so much, uh, what do you call them? Real guard rails. Mm-hmm. Or these great mm-hmm. cards. Mm-hmm. I put them so much. So you, mm-hmm. and, and you know, you also need to remember that when you are growing up, you mm-hmm. didn't have children around you. Yeah. You grew 
up in around such a, adults. Yeah. Yeah. Because such a mature of the, the, the place the place we are living, mm. we are living in. So also I think you ended up becoming so mature very early. Mm. So I, I don't know. I, I, I think I should have just given you more space to be yourself. Oh, and yeah. I think that Makes environment sense. also mm. didn't allow you to be yourself. Because mm. you are the firstborn. Mm. You are expecting to you are expected mm. to set standards <coughs> for your other siblings. Sure. And now here they are not children to interact with. Mm. They are just adults, adults. around your life. Mm. So I think that didn't give you a very, very very easy environment mm. to just grow up and be you. So yeah. I think that's another thing I wish I I, I I don't know how I would have done it differently because I couldn't have moved from where we, uh, we were living. Mm. But I think that is something that I, I think I should have done. What do you think me would be? If I you didn't put those know. guardrails or what? what do you I, think I, I, I don't think I know who you... Who, I've not thought about it. Ah, okay. Yeah, But I'm happy mm-hmm. with who you have become. With all the challenges and uh, whatever, mm-hmm. I'm still very happy about who you have turned out to be. All right. Yeah, very happy, by the way. Mm-hmm. And I will not actually attribute a lot of it to myself. Mm. I think I'll give glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think as, as time goes by and you grow, you still also as a child you have to also learn to just create a path for yourself and to whether your parents are there or not, mm-hmm. just to do your own growing. Yeah, so that I think like I've, I've, I've yes, yes, I think yeah. I've also learned that. Mm. Just I don't know whether it's a first one thing, but I've just learned at, at a quite an early age, mm. maybe because I also grew up with a lot of adults, and even even right now, I I still feel better like relating with adults more than people like my age and all that. Mm. I think it's just how my upbringing has been, yeah, yeah. and I've just learned to really just charter a mm. path for myself and that kind of thing. Mm. So, but I think you have done a great job. You think as, so? Uh, yeah, yeah. Not I think I know so. Mm. You have done a great job as a mom. You you've done the best that you could have done, mm. um, in also laying out an example. Um, of what a mom should look like for me, mm. I've also learned, and have you learned? I, I can't, I can't speak much. Like Jualu already has daughters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to how I'll be <laughs> when I become a mother. mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think one thing I've taken from you is being the cautious mom. The debtor. Um, no, the, the, the debtor mom the, is the, free. The yeah, the, yeah. The yeah. cautious mom, the yeah. kind of paranoid mom, yeah. and I see that a lot. Actually, it's somewhere in my love letter. I see that a lot in you a can't lot. Have written the same thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> Continue. Uh-huh. I see that. I see a lot of you in me when it comes to that Caution. being being very cautious, mm. but also that the, the friends I've also now come to have later in life, mm. they are very free. So I've I thank God I've been able to have a balance of moving a bit of the yes, cushion. yes, yeah, yes. They are very yeah. spontaneous. And because I you happen know, to know a bit of uh, some of your friends, you cannot. I see. think I think you are fine. <laughs> you are fine in that area. So I'm I'm I'm, the, I'm sort of now like creating a balance of that. Mm. But I know you've done a good job in raising <coughs> me as a daughter and also uh, my brothers. But then how how different has that been? The transition uh, from daughters to sons. It's been quite different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's always different. Mm-hmm. Um, sons are different. Mm-hmm. I think they are more they are more interactive. They are more mm-hmm. energetic. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you have to handle a lot of energy <laughs> in the house. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, different from you, mm. yeah. So I think there's a difference. All yeah. right. Yeah. But you really, really done a good. Job. Props to you. Props Thank you so much. I, 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 I must share this. I remember when you were a little girl mm. and we were bringing you up. Uh, we, we were, we, I, I was so inexperienced. Mm-hmm. I'm a nurse, but I didn't know so much about what to do mm-hmm. with you. You, you, you were born. <laughs> no, you are not underweight. Uh-huh. But uh, so we, we used to be so rebuked when we went to when I took you to the clinic, and mm. the nurses would tell me, "What do we tell you, mm. Mrs. Jogona? What do you want us to tell you? We were ni nurse. We know how to feed your baby, mm. but the ba- your baby is not ending well." So I remember mm. the, the the lady we were with was who was helping us in our house at that time. Mm-hmm. She told me. Mama Sony, I have known a trick. Mm. Before we take Sh- Sony to the clinic, mm. we'll first be feeding her with a lot of uji in the morning. <laughs> then she doesn't have don't she, as it as it as <laughs> it weight mob. So that the wounji mm-hmm. can add to the weight. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine I agreed with her. Oh, uh, and I knew better. Uh, oh. but, I, but I was so frustrated. 
uh-huh. because of the weight issue and you are not uh-huh. gaining uh-huh. so i told her it's okay well mpe uji alafu mpeleke clean because even when i was not there and she, she was she would take you uh-huh. they would say si wewe wewe unafanya kazi kule kwa daktari uh-huh. kwa nini kwa nini amjui cha kupekia mtoto <laughs> so if we were seen like we didn't know how to take care of you yet says you are weight that hand reduced that hand reduced but now look at you <laughs> <laughs> anyway so that, that that's one bit i remember that i said hey, that that was something mm, yeah okay yeah. Did, uh, any challenges Chronicles you had with of a, a, a first time mother mm, that's one i think i can write a book on <laughs> any challenges you had with me raising me uh not quite no, stubborn no, no, child. no 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 you are not stubborn Mm. Uh you 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 are fine. I think because again mm-hmm. of growing up around adults mm-hmm. you are you are you are okay. You loved meat. You would eat it raw and you would ask for it in Kikuyu. Nengori ya nyama. Nataka nyama mami nengori ya nyama. So you would yes, you'd go and pick it from the chopping board raw. I I I I'm, I'm I'm looking for challenges that I had with you as, as, as anything extraordinary and I don't I don't I don't really remember. So you are fine. You 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 are okay. Turned out okay. Yeah, <laughs> Thank out God. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <sighs> okay, we can bring that to a close. <laughs>